Progressive presents Mindfulness with Flow. Before you lies a beautiful meadow. In that meadow, Progressive Direct has placed its auto insurance rates alongside those of competitors. You select the lowest rate and feel a great sense of calm. A great sense of calm. Compare Progressive Direct rates with competitors rates so you can rest easy. Visit Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Comparison rates not available in all states or situations. Prices vary based on how you buy. Blog Talk Radio. You're listening to The Whole Scoop Radio with your host, Carol Ferrazzi. Hey, everybody. Welcome to The Whole Scoop. We're a health and wellness radio show, if you don't already know. I'm your host, Carol Ferrazzi, a registered licensed dietitian practicing for over 30 years and the founder of Naturally Nutrition, Inc. You can check me out at naturallynutritioninc.com. As you know, or maybe you don't if you're just joining us for the first time, um, we are Health and Wellness, and it's my goal to provide you with good, solid information from, from credentialed people who can give you information on how to um, promote yourself and, and make informed decisions. And tonight's show is The Power of You. So we really are talking all about you tonight. So get ready because you're going to have some questions. Um, we have a fabulous guest that I'm sure that most of you are back to hear because she gets so such a great response from when she's on with us. She's been here before. She's wonderful. She really doesn't need an introduction. But before I do all of that, let me just remind you that it's um, even though all of our guests are highly credentialed, and that is a stipulation to be on this show, it's important to seek medical advice prior to implementing any and all interventions discussed on this program. Uh, the call-in number is 347-855-8894. You can also direct your questions and comments to our blogtalkradio.com um, forward slash the whole scoop at Facebook, our Facebook blog talk radio group. We are checking that. We're talking about that. If you're on that, you know Susan. You know her well. Um, she's with us tonight. I'm going to get there. Um, we are taking phone calls. Last four digits of your phone, your phone number will be called out. Remember to press the number one um, if you want to ask a question because a lot of you lately have been um, saying, hey, I was trying to ask a question and I couldn't because, and I'm like, hey, you didn't press one, so I couldn't, I didn't know. So press one. Okay, all that aside because we've got so much to talk about tonight, we've got Susan Schatzer. She you know, if you've been paying attention, I've been saying she's a three-time number one best-selling author. She she is uh, she's updated that tonight, and congratulations to Susan because she is a six-time number one best-selling author. She is an international facilitator for consciousness and known as a consciousness revolutionary. She's appeared on multiple TV networks such as the Lifestyle Channel, the LA 36, Access Sacramento, Can TV Chicago, and the Create You Expert Series in New York City. Susan has a natural gift and a talent for both TV and radio, and she's just got an overall natural talent for, for just being a part of, of um, all things good. Um, she's run a successful coaching business. She, she became a BARS body and certified international facilitator with Access Consciousness, and now is the CEO of From Creation to Cradle, running quarterly and global seminars on conscious birthing and beyond. Um, some of Susan's workshops and events include what if getting pregnant, being pregnant, and giving birth were, was joyful, roll up your judgment and undress yourself with kindness, having money, wealth, and abundance in any economy, 52 body processes to change your body and your life, how to become a magnet for money now and in the future, ask a question and change your life on purpose, what if we are the change the earth requires, Magic, you are it. Be it with your business. Stand and command a different reality. Relationships and parenting made easy. And what if money really wasn't the problem? You are. So all of that being said, phone number is 347-855-8894. Let's go ahead and bring Susan on and say thank you so much for coming back and talking to us again, Ms. Susan. Yes. 
I am so excited to be here with you, Carol. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> well, I know everybody's excited to have you because every single time that you're here, we get such such a response, and and we've got I get people all uh, from. You know, days later, you know, I wanted to ask Susan this or I wanted to ask Susan that. So I, that's why I'm kind of, I kind of raced through some of the intro tonight just because I know that there's a lot to cover. And I know that because we're talking about the power of you and we're encompassing all of this. And I'm saying all those events and everything that Susan, that I just read um, about Susan, we're, we're kind of going to pick, I guess, four or five topics, and we're going to talk about those, but they encompass the entire person, and that is health and wellness at its best. So all that being said, Susan, can you kind of just give us a um, – um, we'll just pick a topic as to where you want to start, but before you do, let's just give an, a real quick and dirty um, 101 in, um, explanation on on energy – thought processes and and how people, in other words, how people should be thinking about this show when you're talking, what is the mindset they should be in as it relates to themselves so that they can start to formulate the questions that they want or um, the changes that they want to make as you're talking. Yeah, thank you, Carol. That is a phenomenal um, way to kind of kickstart this uh, radio show today. So I guess it like all popped out for me, um, you know, over 10, 15, 20 years ago when my life was just not at all at a place, you know, where I wanted it to happen. And I kept thinking, you know, this can't be all there is. Like, I really would have signed up for this mess for what reason? <laughs> yeah. You know, I there just has to all be. Of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, and you stumble, it. sometimes you just sit back and you start laughing, like, you know what I mean? Like, I could have a, my own virtual TV show. Like, yep, seriously. Absolutely. I, <laughs> I'm sure we've all felt that way. Like, I could just be, I could make millions. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, with that, it's kind of like, even though I don't buy into trauma and drama, you know what I mean? When it shows up for me, I'm kind of like, you know, it took a while, but I started to change the way I showed up in the world. And so um, with you, um, each of you that may be calling in, that are listening now or in the future, like, yeah, we've got problems. You've got problems. I've got problems. But what if it's not a problem? You know, when we look at it as a problem, there's like no way out. It's like you have lost control. It's like something else or someone else is in control. Like they're writing the story and you're in the passenger seat. But if you flip it from this is a problem, this is my problem, this is the problem, to hey, what if this is a brand new possibility? So instead of it being a problem, if you look at it like a possibility, your brain, your subconscious starts to think of like all the different ways it can change, it can choose differently, it can create something way more magical. And that, for me, propelled me from, you know, this wave of insanity to actually creating the life I'd like to have. Um, so that was something that was super powerful uh, for me. And when I work with clients, that's one of the things we talk about. It's kind of like shifting from problem to possibility, and then everything kind of sort of falls after that. It's like the law of attraction. It's like what you talk about or what you think about, you talk about, Carol, and what you talk about, you bring about. So what if hey, that, we wait, start wait, wait, with the thinking? Wait, wait. Susan, Susan go, back, go back and just say that slowly, okay? Sure, you... sure. What you think about, you talk about, and what you talk about, you bring about. Cool. So okay. everyone. So everybody needs us. to remember that. We we need to remember that because I think that right there is the premise to what we're about to talk about tonight. Everything that we're we're gonna roll in and 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 you know I'm gonna let you pick a topic and get started here in just a second. But but um. What I'm saying to you is that that right there, that phrase, would you say it again, please? Sure. What you think about, 
you talk about. And what you talk about, you bring about. Okay. So everybody remembers that as Susan's talking. And maybe what we'll do is we'll throw in just a couple of examples as we're going through different um, different topics mm-hmm. as you're as you're you're bringing them up. And you've got a deck of cards, don't you? Um, yes, I have a deck so. of cards um, that were created to um, help people sort of um, take a look and facilitate through things that are happening in their life. Um, and what I did was I broke them up into four categories. One is our body. The other category is money, another category is business, and then the fourth category is sex. And interestingly enough, interestingly enough, is that right? Did I say that right? Interestingly enough? Yes. That sounds right. Is that right, Carol? (laughs) Good. (laughs) Okay. Um, What what we do is we – you get to like call in and then um, talk about kind of what you'd like to change in your life. Like what's not working for you? What's your problem? Mm-hmm. And we're going to take a look at these cards and you're going to get to select one, a category and two, you're going to pick a number from one to 12 because there's 12 cards. And on each of these cards is a question. And through the question, you'll receive facilitation with that, like how it pertains to like, you know, what your possibility is that you may not be aware of, you may not be willing to look at, you may not be willing to acknowledge. Um, And so, you know, that's just going to kind of just spin up with things because, you know, we're all energy. Everything's energy, the planet, the phone, the computer, you know, these cards, the chair you're sitting on. And scientists have tried to destroy energy and they've tried to create energy and they cannot do either. The only thing that can happen with energy is it can be transformed. And they've actually documented um, that the universe has the same amount of energy now that it did have when the universe was first created. So we've actually been here for an extremely long period of time, our energy you know, in one shape, place, person, thing, or another. And so we actually have a lot of energies and a lot of things that are running through our body, through our DNA, uh, through our spirit um, that's been brought in from other lifetimes with other things that are happening in other places in the universe. And here we are today to kind of take a look at the things that aren't working for you right now and what is the possibility that could change that for you? Well, do you want to jump in and, like, let's just start with a topic and let's just you and me chat on on how those cards work, and then we'll see where we go with the people who are listening. How, how do we want to try it that way? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. You'd go like to it. be the first victim? <laughs> oh, why not? Let's go for it. <laughs> so My show, so I might as well, it. like, Put myself right out there, you know? <laughs> right? You can test drive. That's so it. would you like to pick something to, to create a possibility with your body, with money, with business, or with your sex life? Oh, yeah. Well, there's not much to talk about on a couple of those. So we'll just um, – let's go. <laughs> let's go with um, money. Let's try money. Okay, money it is. So there's 12. I'm shuffling them here while we're talking. Um, So if you could change anything with money with you, what would you like to change, Carol? Um, I'm going to give you the the answer I think that – well, I'm going to give you my answer, but I think it's probably an answer that everybody can relate to. You want more of it. You'd like to have more money. Definitely. would like to have more money. Okay, so go ahead and pick a number from 1 to 12. Okay. And tell me what that number is, and I'm going to pull that card. Let's go with 12. 12 it is. So that will be the bottom of the deck. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Here it is. So... Carol, what are you defending for or against with your thoughts, feelings, and emotions about money, wealth, and abundance? <laughs> what am I defending for and against? Uh-huh. 
Hmm. So it's asking you, what are your thoughts, feelings, and emotions about money, wealth, and abundance? Hmm. Well, we could be here all night talking about that one, Susan. We've got to give other people a chance. <laughs> so let's go with something a little easier. <laughs> so what's your top? What's your top thought? I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. It broke up there. What is my what thought? Your top thought. Hmm. Like, what's the number one thought that you have in relation to money, wealth, and abundance? Um, comfort. If I had to answer it in one one answer, one word, I would say comfort. It it, it provides a comfortable situation. So you want more money. Mhm. But you. I want more money. You. you to, so you to lack have money right more now. comfortable life. Uh-huh. Right. There. How's that? So the. Uh huh. Yeah. One of the key words is when you use the word want. That actually means lack. So yeah, let's talk about can, that. Okay. So you can. I mean, because that go, that's um, a foreign concept. I know you and I have talked about that before, but that is a foreign concept to people. The word "want" means lack. How does that happen when when everybody says "I want"? That doesn't mean I don't want. It means what? In energetic that you terms, lack. I understand that we are talking. Yeah. You're yeah. talking in energetic terms, and and what that means is, if we just go back, I, I just want to clarify something before you start. Um, sure. What you're talking about is everything is energy, and that you know scientists can't create energy. It, it's already there. It's a, there, there's also new new research to come out to show that we share energy between each other. Um, so. All of that being said, and all of, if you know that as as being a premise that there, there's energy in the universe, there's energy all around us, there's energy, everything is energy, then the words that we use, because what was the phrase? What you talk is what, Susan, what was that? What, what you think about, you talk about. You talk about, right? What, so and what you, what you think about, about, you about, talk about. So if that's the case, then if the word want is negative, then that means that you don't really want it. If you say I want it, it means you, it's a, you, you lack it. What does that mean? I don't understand. Say that again. Yeah. So uh, what happened, Carol, was in 1946, the dictionary actually got changed with its definitions. And um, some of the words that were changed is the word want. So if you pull up on the Internet or you um, have a a mom or a grandma who uh, maybe has an old dictionary, you can look up the word want and you'll notice all the definitions in the beginning of it are lack, lack, not enough. And then you get to the very last one on the bottom and it means desire. So what got changed was when they rewrote the dictionary, they put – the desire part on the top and the rest of it lack one underneath it. So you started seeing, I want, I want, I want. And what do you want for Christmas? And what do you want to be when you grow up? There's all of these, you know, things that we've been taught and trained and in train in doing and saying that include the word want, like what do you want for your birthday and (laughs) what do you want in this relationship and what do you want to have and what do you want with this career and where do you want to be in five years? And all of that um, actually brings up for you because, you know, the universe just knows the vibration of words because words are energy also and the word want says lack so what you say is when you say I want more money you actually say I lack more money Hmm. so that's what the universe hears and that's what gets perpetuated on you so what the question was what are you defending for or against And so if you're saying to yourself in your head, your thoughts are, I want more money, you're actually energetically putting out to the universe, I lack more money. And if you're talking with your girlfriends and your family and you say, God, I just want some more money, you know, 
that right. is I still lack more money. And so what you think about, you talk about, and what you talk about, you bring about. So guess what shows up in your life? A Less lack money. of money, not, a, not having enough money, yeah, not having wow. enough money. So what happens is, mm-hmm, what happens is the universe is like, oh, okay, you know, I mean, the universe doesn't have a point of view about it. It's like, okay, cool, you know, I'm going to go ahead and give you what you're asking for, and here is more circumstances, more events that are going to validate your point of view, which are your thoughts, feelings, and emotions, um, about having no money, not enough money, lack of money. Interesting. Wow. Okay. So um, I don't want to take up I, – I mean, I, I do. I want to take up the time with me, but no, yeah, I, I really want to share this. So, so – <laughs> <laughs> um, so what I want to do is I kind of want to let's just go with all four categories and give that overview and then let's see where people are and see if they want to jump in and we'll pull cards for them and see what's going on how about that yeah absolutely I used to have a radio show called ask a question change your life and that's the name of the deck of cards ask a question change your life with money ask a question change your life with business Ask a question, change your life with your body, and ask a question, change your life with sex. And um, surprisingly, energetically, money and sex um, and joy, like they all go hand in hand. Um, So, you know, you may think that, you know, money is something that you're looking to change, but it could actually be in the sex category that changes that for you. Um, so whatever kind of pops up first, and I tell people when I speak with them, like not to dwell too much on it, not try to figure it out, but which one kind of sounds fun for you? Would, you know, receiving a question and facilitation on business be fun for you? Would your body be fun? Would, you know, money be fun? Would sex be fun? (laughs) Wow. We could have, we could have sex together. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, Susan, let's just move on. (laughs) Let's let's go with uh, let let let's you you pick something and give me an example of how someone was able to change their life based on um, ask a question change your life give give us an example so people can start because I, I I can hear the wheels going even though I'm not seeing them um, I can hear the wheels going like what are you talking about how does this go there. What, what do you mean? So we did a really good job, I think, of laying the foundation in terms of how we share things between each other and in terms of energy. But let's, uh-huh. let's go with, let's make it tangible for people. Let, let's give an example. Sure. So um, there's a card in the business category, and it says, what have I decided is not possible ever in business? And when that shows up for you, it really describes, because anytime you decide something, um, you, re, you prevent receiving. So when you say, what if I decided it's not possible? Yeah, so anytime you decide something, if you have a judgment, you decide, you conclude, you have a calculation, you separate, any of those things right there um, actually prevent the energy from coming to you. You actually shut down receiving. And you can plug in there like this is a business card, but you can plug this into the money category, the body category, and sex. So what have you decided is not possible with your body ever? And what have you decided is not possible ever with money? So this Hmm. card can be utilized in multiple categories. Um, And so what you can do is, you know, everyone can kind of sit down and sort of think a little bit like what have you decided is not, like you'll never win the lottery. Um, You'll never receive money, you know, because you're written out of the will. Or I mean, there's like lots of things that we've decided is not possible. Like you have to work more to make more money. You know, like is that true? You know, what if that's not true but you've decided so right. So if you made decided. a conscious decision, if you if it it, it it doesn't even necessarily have to be conscious, right? It could be right. subconscious. It could be unconscious. In terms of yeah. 
You've somehow yeah. made the decision that you will never make more money, that you will right. never have the sex life that you want, that you will never, your business will never thrive the way that you want it to. Somehow, yeah. somewhere, you're stuck. Um, so that that being said, then you direct your life, or, and I'm just trying to understand, and I'm trying to recap for people. So that means you direct your life in accordance with that core belief. So what you talk about is your reality. I don't have enough money or I need more money or I want more money, which makes it a negative. Or, um, you know, uh, my my business, I can't seem to, to, to move ahead. I can't seem to, to, to do whatever. And somehow you, you program and you plan and you find yourself moving in the direction of what you talk about. Is that what we're ta- is that what we're saying? Yeah, absolutely. And many times, Carol, uh, we've all picked this up before the age of two from our parents wow. and family and relatives and religion and school and neighborhoods a lot of these, and, you know, it's just something that, you know, what I have found, because I do the um, Conscious Birthing and Beyond, and I own From Creation to Cradle, that, you know that era, you're about two, and it's the terrible twos, and you have, you, you, you may even remember, you know, with kids, and they always ask the word why. Right. Why? How come? You know, why is the sky blue? And, you know, why are the clouds white? And, you know, why is mommy crying? And, you know, why is daddy late? And, you know, there's all these whys to everything. You know, why do I have to finish the food on my plate? (laughs) Right. (laughs) Or ice cream. You know, why am I grounded? Why can't I watch TV all night long? What happens at that point is our kids are trying to figure out the insanity that we live in. Hmm. They can't understand why we've decided things, why we do things, why we say things, why we are in lack, why we don't have. You know, kids walk around and they're like, mine, juice, sandbox, outside. <laughs> hmm. Cool. So you know what I mean? Like they constantly just choose for the fun of it. So it's very you know, definitive. You certain, them. Certain, yeah, they just want to have fun. Like okay. that's their mission is to have fun. So they're trying to figure out why we say the things we do, and you know we get caught in it because we have no response. Sometimes it's like because I said no. <laughs> You know, they're they're trying to figure it out, but that's our response because we can't even figure it out. (laughs) Right. Right. Because it's my house and my rules. Well, okay, but I live here too. And what if there's an easier, better, way more fun way of doing it? Well, we've always done it this way. This is the way your parents did it. This is the way I was brought up. (laughs) And we project you know, our thoughts, feelings, and emotions of insanity on our kids. And they're like, well, I can't beat it. I might as well join it. So they start picking up on it. And then their world starts functioning from it just like us. Okay. So do we want um, – I'm going to tell the callers, uh, people who are listening, if you want to call in, um, let me me just do some business here and remind everybody that – you know, this is so cool. You're listening to the Whole Scoop Radio with your host, Carol Ferrazzi. And we are talking with Susan Schaster tonight, and um, we're talking about the power of you. So thank you for joining us on the Whole Scoop Radio. Um, we're going to get back to it in just a second. I kind of wanted to do that. It's so cool that that thing's working again. Susan, you haven't been with us for a few months, and the thing was just not working, so I'd push the button, and it'd be nothing, and then I'd be like, wait, is it coming? No. <laughs> so so well, it's working again, and we're, we're up and running. The hurricane <laughs> reset your system for you. <laughs> I, see, I think that, and I think maybe uh, there was a little birdie that had something to do with that, too, so that's all good. But... Um, Anyway, if anybody wants to give this a try, press the number one. We're going we're gonna, to uh, pull some cards for you and let Susan talk to you a minute. Um, 
and just see where it goes, see what happens. Um, come on, you can do it. Um, we have any takers? I'm just going to watch the board as we talk and see if somebody is brave enough to press the number one and just say, hey, pick a card for me. All right, so um, somebody just did. Okay, let's just see where we are. Okay, Susan, ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay, caller, you're on the air, 2205. Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm thank you. Pick a category? Well, if you could change anything in your life, what would you like to change? What's not working for you? Um, well, for the past, well, two years ago, I moved down here to Florida to do my uh, graduate program. And I'm from up in New York, and my boyfriend's up in New Jersey, and he has his job up in New Jersey, and he travels back and forth here, and I travel back and forth to there, and we're just kind of like stuck in that limbo of he is trying to figure out if he wants to move here, and I want to stay here, and we're just kind of stuck there, and I wish that we weren't all the time. But So I guess that's the one thing that I would want to change in my life. Yeah, so can you tell me your name? I didn't get it. Oh, Trish. Trish. Okay, Trish, so it sort of feels like you're, like, in a cycle. Do you know what I mean? You're, like, going around that you're, like, Indy 500, and you're going, yeah, yeah, and you keep looping. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So um, let's go ahead and pick a category. What would be fun for you, business, body, money, or sex? I guess body. Body. Okay, cool. So I'm going to shuffle these body cards here. And um, the universe, the energy, is just going to pull the card that is going to gift you with the possibility of changing what you've decided is the problem. Does that sound cool? <laughs> yes. Okay, so you get to pick a number now from 1 to 12. 7. 7. So I'm going to count off 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So here is your card with your question. So what secret agenda, Trish, with your body do you have that maintains and entrains that you cannot change, choose, or institute a different possibility. So I'm going to go back up to the top of the question because it probably fried you, right? Yeah. <laughs> Loaded. <laughs> <laughs> so what secret agenda? So what is secretive about you with your body? So what are your thoughts, feelings, or emotions about your body? What number one thing comes up for you with your body? Well, recently I've been trying to put on more muscle weight. Mm -hmm. And so I've been weight training a lot harder in the gym and trying to gain. And it's slow, but I wish it was faster. <laughs> so I guess that yeah. Way. Yeah, I was going to ask you, so how is it working for you? You wish it was faster? Yeah. So what's your point of view about attaining muscle mass? Um, like, what do you mean? Like, do you have the point of view that you should work harder you should lift more, you should lift more often, you should eat differently, You're, you know, what I is think, it I know that you believe? I believe that I'm doing all that I can work-wise, but I know that I should be eating more protein, but I just, I'm not a huge protein eater, so that's uh -huh. definitely my downfall. Yeah, so that's what you're thinking about, right? Yeah, all the time. 
<laughs> and that's what you, and that's that's what you're talking about. <laughs> so guess what you're bringing about. Yeah. So what if your muscle mass had nothing to do with protein? Do you see how having that point of view prevents you from receiving the muscle mass because you decided you needed to eat more protein? Right. Does that make sense? Yes. So anytime you decide something, um, you're not able to receive from the universe. So there was a woman, and she was asking a lot of questions about her body, and she was going in a different direction. She really wanted to lose weight. And she started to look at what her thoughts were. What did she tell herself? What did she see when she looked in the mirror? What did she see when – what did she hear when herself say to herself when she put her clothes on? And um, it was all of these points of view. So she started eliminating the the problems by – Uh, eliminating the points of view that she had that held them in place and possibilities started showing up. So she started asking her body, what would it take to create the body you're looking for? And what would it take for you to create? So when you ask a question to add more body mass to your body, when you ask a question, you actually invite the universe to create with you, to co-create. Versus if you decide, um, yeah, so the woman I'm telling you about, she um, has was the co-author of Right Body for You. Um, her name is Danielle Carter. And so she literally went from a size 18 to a size like 6, 6 or 8, um, and she just was eating, you know, jelly beans. I mean, it was just, it was crazy what she was eating, but it's what her body really wanted to have that created. So she started eliminating her points of view about sugar. She started eliminating her points of view about three meals a day. She started eliminating points of view about, you know, the four or five foods groups. So all of these points of view were actually preventing her from receiving what was she look what she was looking to create with her body. So she started asking her body, "Okay, body, you know, what would you like to drink and what would you like to eat, um, and what's going to create, you know, the the body type that you would like to have." Um, so she would ask herself that and ask her body questions, and she would actually get images from her body. Her body would go, "Oh yeah, that looks like fun. Oh yeah, that looks." pretty cool. Oh, let's try that over there. So foods that she had decided, Trish, that she didn't like and hated and tasted awful, um, her body actually started giving her pictures of them. She's like, really? You know, I don't like broccoli. I hate broccoli. I can't stand broccoli. But when her body was asking for it, she went ahead and ordered it and she started eating it and it was way tasty. She could not believe at how tasty it was and how wonderful it was when she was eating it. And what she learned and found out was that her body actually needed a vitamin and a mineral, an element, something that the broccoli could provide her. But she wasn't willing to receive it because she had already decided that she didn't like broccoli. So all of the things that you've decided about food and times of day and amounts of foods and colors and flavors and dishes and ingredients and stay away from this and you've got to have more of that, would you be willing to eliminate them? Yeah. Okay, cool. And would you be willing to ask your body, body, what's it going to take to create the image you'd like to have? Yeah. Cool. And would you be willing to ask the body what it would like to eat and what it would like to drink? Yeah. Cool. And then honoring the body. Because, Trish, your body is way more conscious than you are because your body doesn't have a point of view about anything, but you do. So that's why I encourage clients to kind of talk with their body and sort of um, get some ideas of what it would like. Like I'll open my refrigerator and, you know, things will kind of pop out in like outrageous combinations like 
hard-boiled egg, avocado, and cranberry sauce. I'm like, really? (laughs) And I'm kind of (laughs) shocked. I'm like, okay. So, you know, I'll get my hard-boiled egg. I'll, like, whip out the avocado and mix my cranberry sauce. And it tastes amazing. Like, I never would have ever put a combination of those things together. But, you know, it's what my body required um, at that time that it was asking for for me. So I honor that, and I'll tell you, there's, you know, no heartburn, no indigestion. I have, you know, regular, you know, extractions with my body, eliminations, that's the word, um, that I didn't have before because I was kind of fighting against the body because I thought I knew what was good for my body because I read about it and I researched it and I studied it. And this expert told me, (laughs) you don't have any of those, do you? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, and so that's what happens when we have those points of view about things, and they're not even ours. Like, we actually got it from somebody else. It's kind of like we are cutting off our connection to our body. We are not including our body in our decisions that we're making for it, Um, but to start making decisions by including it. And I bet you you'll see amazing results. That's great. Thank you so much. Um, Does that help you, Trish? Yes, definitely. Great. Cool. Thank Um, you. Thank you. Thank you for calling. (laughs) Yeah, it Mm -hmm. went from problem to possibility. (laughs) Yeah. Wonderful. (laughs) That's great. Cool. Thank, Thank you, so, you much so much for calling in. We're gonna we're gonna move we're gonna move on um, to somebody else if that's okay with you. Um, yeah, absolutely. And, and Susan, I know that you check our blog a lot, so you may end up with a couple of questions over there at another point in time. So um, you know, people just love you. So be ready, okay? Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Chris. Thank you so much for calling in. And we're gonna go with. Caller 5200. 5200, you're on. Hi. Hi, Susan. This is Sarah Licht. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Great. I um I love you too so much, Susan. <laughs> so thank you, thank you for calling to play. Oh, you, know, you, you bet. You could change anything. What would you like to change? Um. Well, I have been I have all this time since I see I created destroy my left hand and um I would like um more like clarity, like what direction what like I you know, I do all these things and I just feel like I'm not actually making as great of an impact or change as I could and that I should I should like pick one of them or two and and go for it and and I and muddling around, like, not sure. Yeah, so if you could fill in the blank, what would, what have you decided the problem is? Okay, let's see. Uh, well, I'm not, uh, well, what comes up is that I'm just uh, too small, not okay. making a difference. Yeah, or I could make okay. a bigger difference. Yeah. Yeah, like you're not being enough. Yep. <laughs> you're playing the small game. <laughs> yeah. So which category would you like to play with today? Would business be fun for you, body, sex, or money? It's, I guess um, it's business. Let's do business. Business? Okay. I'm going to shuffle the deck. Um, for asking a question, changing your life with business. Um, And tell us, you said you just hurt yourself? Yeah, yeah, two weeks ago, um, even though I had warning signs and I could have walked away, I kept standing in front of this dangerous horse trying to just, like, make a breakthrough, and he um, bit my hand and then lifted me in the air by my hand. And I was like, oh, no, I messed up. So my hand is um, healing. It's kind of 
broken. Yeah. So, so I, like, we it's gonna, funny because, like, everything yeah. I everything I want to do and take action, I'm like, oh, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can, can do some things, but I have a lot of time to just go, okay, well, yeah. What's what is it I would like to create? Yeah, what would I like to have different? Nice. Yeah. So if you could pick a number from 1 to 12, which card would you like? Six. Six. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six. So what's the value, Sarah, of making <laughs> only that which you cannot afford valuable? <laughs> I can't read it again. What's the value of making only that which you cannot afford value? Um, yeah. Yeah. I, so, I, I don't actually, yeah, go ahead. So what's the value is where you've concluded yeah. that you cannot afford something. Therefore, yeah. that's what you really want. That's what you really okay. desire. That's what you'd like to have. Those are the things that you can't afford, like the vacation, the house, the car, the relationship, the business, um, whatever that happens to be. So the value that you place on it is sort of yeah. where you say, you know, this is really important to me. Yeah. Do you like, hear what yourself? Do I... Sorry. No, yeah, go ahead. Is it is it's like it's like what do I love about my limitations that I'm creating? Yeah. So, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's kind of like where you've decided I can't do this. I can't do that. Yeah. Oh, that would yeah. be kind of good, but oh, I can't do it. You know, right. those are all the can- all the can'ts is a negative. Um, right. it's with a not in it. Um and the universe doesn't actually acknowledge a not because the universe yeah. You know, God can create anything. You know, anything is possible. Anything yeah. can happen. But when yeah. you, yeah, have decided that you can't, won't, wouldn't, couldn't, shouldn't, all those things, you actually shut down from receiving the magic that the universe and, and God can actually create for you in your life. And what if it's beyond something, Sarah, like you cannot even think about? You know what I mean? Well, you yeah. are amazing yeah. with like, oh, Thanks. I think this will work. Oh, I think that could work. Do you hear yourself thinking that? Um, well, yeah, except now I'm even a step back. Like, okay, if I like, if if there if it was impossible to fail, what would I love to create and do? And and s- suddenly I'm like, I'm not sure, <laughs> which is really strange um kind of like creation of confusion or just yeah. space so, like it just feels like space mm-hmm. like i'm uh, not aware yet what would that be yeah so yeah absolutely so what if it's like um it's like just a little bit away like there's just still something there that's preventing it from showing up for you okay so there's like some point of view that has you locked in place to perpetually, just like Trish was on the track at the Indy 500 and she was going yeah. around and around and around. It's like, you know, not being able to get off. It's kind of like you're looking okay. for the exit ramp. So yeah, the I think I got it. Is... <laughs> I think I got okay, what that cool. is. <laughs> it's uh, something great. like, it's basically like, well, whatever I choose it might it still might not work. It might not be good enough and people might not want it. Yeah, that's a pretty powerful <laughs> like limitation, right? Like how can you how can the universe possibly give you anything? <laughs> right. Yeah, so would you be willing to eliminate that? Yes. Yeah, that thought that you have and then thinking and then because it kind of comes up when you're talking about it and it sort of shows up for you with the can't. Yeah. You know, that's how you talk about it. And so that's what you're bringing about is you're bringing about all of the can't that are showing yeah, totally. up. And the value is where you make it significant. You know, like 
you were saying um, that you felt as though you were like not being big enough. You were kind of playing small. Well, yeah, yeah because you've decided <laughs> that that's what you can receive. Therefore, the universe can't show you anything different, cannot provide for you any other possibility because you've already decided that that's not going to work. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. I know. Aren't we amazing? <laughs> it's amazing what we do to ourselves, isn't it? It's just, it is. It's incredible. Well, you know, no one's taught us this. Sarah and, and Carol and Trish, you know, no one talks about this. You know right. what I mean? It's, it's, you know, this is really kind of new, you know, a concept in philosophy because people are like, oh, it can't be that easy. Can I, yeah. can I ask, can I ask for your facilitation on something? Yeah. Can we just play, can we play light and heavy? Because sometimes when you ask me that, like, yours, I just love, I love my sessions with you. And when you ask me, like, light and heavy and just put me on the spot, I'm like, oh, then I'll then I know. Yeah. So what would you like clarity on? Okay. So I have, like, a, a list of possibilities that I can think of, like, okay, work with horses work with people with access consciousness, puppet workshop. That's like a new idea that I'm just like, oh, my God, would that be so fun? Like a puppet workshop that it's a space <laughs> that's all about puppets. And maybe not enough people are into puppets, but I totally am. <laughs> and the costumes and then, um, you know, like art or healing or horses or then working with kids, like with um, Asperger, Autism Spectrum, with horses. Yeah, these are that, all you know. amazing. Mm-hmm. These are all amazing possibilities. Yeah. Huge, and huge, I, amazing possibilities. Um, so what if um, you were to take it one step further, and it's like, okay. what would you like to create? And then take it and ask the question, will this create what I'm looking for? Will this create? what I'm looking to create, will this create? And then do light and heavy with each of those. Okay. Yeah. Thanks and you know what? So much you, for calling yeah. in. We're yeah. going to, we're going to, we're running short a little bit on time and we've got a, oh, sure. uh, other, sure. if it's okay with you, maybe cool. what we could do, because I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want to okay. shut can. you down completely and I know how okay. important this is. So maybe I, we I can know that up. I can get <laughs> I know that I can get Susan on a private session. She's she okay. does those. <laughs> does, does. So she's really awesome. good at it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Super fun. Super fun. Thank you so thank much. You thank you so much, Sarah, Susan. for calling. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, love you. Bye. Bye. Okay, we're gonna move on because we're running short, but I want to get everybody in. So we're going to go with yes. caller 9951. 9951? Hello. Hi. You're on the air. Okay. Hi, Susan. Hi, Carol. Hi. How are Hi. you? Um, okay. Um, I had a question of, um, I, I have a problem with like social anxiety and uh-huh. I I take a lot of pills for it, and I wish I could get off of these pills. Um, I just I just don't know how to get over um, the problem that I have. Yeah, it's very overwhelming for you, isn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah, yes, I can it feel is. it just in your energy. Mhm. Mhm. So, what if the answer is actually something that you never thought possible? Would you be open? Yes. Okay. Thank you. So would you like to receive a question um, and facilitation with business, body, sex, or money? Um, Body. Body. Okay. You know, Carol, no one has picked the sex category this evening. <laughs> we may I have know. to come back and do a whole sex show. We might have to do a whole show on it, right? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. 
<laughs> so tell me your tell me your name, honey. Michelle. Michelle. Okay, Michelle. Mm-hmm. I just shuffled your deck for you. Um, and go ahead and pick a question from one to twelve. Um, eight. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Here is your number eight question. So how much, Michelle? Mm-hmm. How much of how you view your body have you made significant? A little, a lot, or a megaton? Um, probably. How much of how you view your body have you made significant? Probably a megaton. A little, a lot, or a megaton. Yeah. So... With energy, anytime you make something significant, like when you say that's Mm -hmm. important to me or I see that all the time or this always happens to me, those kinds of thoughts, feelings, Mm -hmm. and emotions lock in that point of view right into your body. Right. So it's so interesting. There was a woman on a plane, Michelle, and um, I was sitting next to her and she was telling me all about how she perceived herself and her body. And I could not see what she was speaking of. And when we were exiting the plane and she was walking down the aisle, um, I could see her body take the shape of her point of view as it was walking down the aisle. And it's like nothing else can show up for her if that's Mm -hmm. her point of view about it. And with me, I had no judgment for her. I had no point of view, no judgment about it. Nothing was right and nothing was wrong. Everything was just interesting. Like, hey, that's cool. Okay, great. And Mm -hmm. without a point of view, she was able to show up how she really was. So with you, how many of your points of view about your body are preventing you from receiving anything different? And when you talk about anxiety, your body is what feels anxiety. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. I have a lot so of how, panic attacks. And... Yes. Yeah. So how significant have you made that in, a, in relation to your awareness? It's almost like, because your body is more aware than you are. Were you on a little bit earlier, Michelle, listening when Trish and I were talking also? Yes. Okay, great. So you heard when I said, you know, um, your body's more aware than you are. What happens is we label things as anxiety. We label things as depression. Actually, what that is is information. It's not because anxiety, you know, then there's a syndrome and a disease and a problem. What if this is a new possibility for you? What if it's not about the wrongness of you, Michelle, but your Mm -hmm. strongness? What if your body is giving you information about people, places, things, locations, uh, the future, and you have decided or someone has told you that what that is is, quote-unquote, anxiety, depression, panic, fear. Buy into that like, oh, okay, yeah, I have these jittery feelings. I am breathing. I have tunnel vision. I need to, you know, be in a very quiet, calm area. I need to take medication to get control of this. What if that's actually not your truth? Yeah, that's that's interesting because it seems like when I'm around people, it's like I that's what I feel like I'm picking up all this information from my surroundings and it's all just coming at me and I can't yes. funnel to figure out what it is. Yes. Yeah. I help a lot of clients with that because what happens is you get misidentified and misapplied as to what that is. And then you're medicated mm-hmm. to prevent it from happening. Um, but the truth of the matter is it's actually information and see that you knew that you knew what you knew Mm -hmm. and that's the truth for you. So congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. You're way more powerful, Michelle. Yes. (laughs) Yes. Yeah. It's a strongness for you. It's not a wrongness. 
Yeah, and see, I look Thank at you. it like the, you know, the opposite. It's, yes. Hmm. Yes. I know because no one talks about this. Yeah. And so if so she what do looks we do at it, we... I have a question. If she looks at it as the wrongness, then is she pattering, pat, patterning her life in directions to stay in the wrongness? Is that what, what, what we were talking about earlier? Is So what she's is is subconsciously she's just directing herself to stay where she is instead of breaking out when she desperately wants to break out. Yeah, it's the universe prevents herself from receiving because the universe can't deliver anything else than what she's decided or bought into or taken from other people as to the way, and I put quotes around that, the way it is um, and what this is. And what if it's not the way it is? And what if it's not that? Mm -hmm. You know, what if it's something completely different? Um, And you're way more magical than you ever thought possible, Michelle. So then what does she need to do on a daily basis to help herself break away from this? Well, you know, I would start first by, you know, still – Keep your medication. Um, Mm -hmm. We never want you to, like, stop or diminish anything like that. But, you know, when you start to get those feelings of anxiety Mm -hmm. and panic, you know, go ahead and ask yourself, okay, what information is this? What Mm -hmm. am I getting? What is my body providing me that I'm not willing to acknowledge? Mm -hmm. If I acknowledged this, how would this change, choose, and institute a different reality for me and my body? And with all yeah. of those questions, it continues to allow the universe to give to you so you don't prevent yourself from receiving. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. And and it's, and post it. Post it. it's like I'm like, you know, I freeze up and instead of like, trying to, you know, open up and figure out what it is. Absolutely. And so now you've got some questions that will help you with that. Yeah, definitely. Thank you so then much can for you calling say in. One more time for everybody so that everybody kind of gets an idea of how to do that? Um, Sure. <laughs> I sort of just kind of roll with the energy of it, but um, you can Uh, ask um, anything like, you know, what would it take um, to receive uh, this information with the greatest of ease? I know that's not the one I use, but that's another one that that everybody could use. Um, And that way that can, you know, it's like, what is this information I'm receiving? Who is this information for that I'm receiving? You know, what else is possible um, that I'm not willing to acknowledge? That if I acknowledged it, would change, choose, and create a different possibility for me and my body. Yeah, because I, right. I think I look at it as, as a bad thing, but it's a good thing because I could almost feel like I know what somebody's going to say or like I could finish their sentence or like I almost feel like I know what they're thinking. And, um, yeah. Yeah. How telepathic are you? How psychic are you? Yeah, um, no one's taught no one's taught you, Michelle, you know, how to uh work with this um talent, capacity and ability. Um, you know, they just we don't talk about it in school. There there's not a class on this. <laughs> right. We should have classes in elementary school, oh, middle definitely. school, high school, college. Yeah, I mean, how much, we could put pharmaceuticals out of business, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be a good thing. <laughs> there's a thought. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you thank so much. You I mean, that really turns things around. Nice, nice. Thank nice. you for calling in. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much for uh, talking to me. Okay, thank you. Bye um, bye. Bye bye, Susan. We are so yeah. out of time. We are, we are, I know. Time, as usual. Are you there? I'm here. Okay. I thought maybe I lost you there for a minute. Um, 
No, I am here. So, um, as so usual, fun. we're out of time. As usual, we're going to have to have you back. We're going to have to do this again. Obviously, um, we have a whole lot of interest in, in this, so maybe this is a theme that, that we need to kind of tap into periodically. Um, so we'll have you back. We're booking for next year, so let's you and me talk. How's that? Yeah, absolutely. And if anyone does have questions, they're more than welcome to go to your Facebook page, the Whole Scoop Group, and um, they can plug them in there. Or they Wonderful. can um, so private that. message me also. Thanks, Carol. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Thank you, everyone, for calling in and for listening. And um, even if you don't make the show right now, I am available in the future. I'm here. Thank you. Uh, then we, we will definitely have you back. And thanks, everybody, for listening and participating. It was great tonight. Um, fabulous. Next time we are going to have a, 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 a new person to the whole group. Her name is Helen Liu. And she's going to be talking to us about all kinds of uh, – uh, new holistic approaches that she takes in her practice for um, a multiple multiple amounts of, of ailments that uh, could uh, give you a different perspective than, than maybe what you're seeing now. So I think it's going to be a great thing. And she focuses on reflexology. So um, we'll see you next time. It'll be October 27th, I believe. That's where we are. So um, two weeks from tonight. All right, everybody, thank you so much, and we'll see you again. Good night. Hi, this is Maury Moreland Morrison, here to tell you GEICO has more than just great savings. Much more. Yes, while GEICO could help you rack up more moolah faster than you can say metamorphosis, they've also been the fastest-growing auto insurer for more than 10 years. That's more like it. Furthermore, GEICO has fast and friendly claim service. That might seem like an oxymoron, but it's not. All the more reason to say no other auto insurer has more more than GEICO. GEICO. Expect great savings and a whole lot more. Progressive presents Mind Flowness with Flow. Before you lie is a beautiful meadow. In that meadow, Progressive Direct has placed its auto insurance rates alongside those of competitors. You select the lowest rate and feel a great sense of calm. A great sense of calm. Compare Progressive Direct rates with competitors' rates so you can rest easy. Visit Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Comparison rates not available in all states or situations. Prices vary based on how you buy.